Hi, I'm Jack from Jack's Films. Recently, I held a 48-hour film festival where participants had to make a parody, music video, or sketch in just 48 hours. Somehow, it became such a hit that Adobe asked me to make a series of videos breaking down some of my essential workflows for my parody projects. So get ready, get excited, because in this video, we're gonna take a look at titles and graphics inside Adobe Premiere. Navigate over to the Graphics Workspace tab to start adding graphics and titles to your project. First, let's add some text by clicking on the Title tool, then clicking into our composition. Type some text. In this case, I'll write Mansion, which you'll recognize from my quadruple platinum hit single, Mansion. Now that we've got some text in our composition, let's divert our attention to the right side of the screen, where we have tons of options to choose from. Starting at the top, we have the text layer itself. Right now, we only have one layer, but if we click the New Layer button, we can add other things to our composition, including shape layers, so let's add a rectangle as well. These layers work from the top down, so make sure you have the order correct for your design. Name them by right-clicking and choosing Rename. One thing to note while creating a text layer is setting your anchor point to the center of the layer by holding down Control and dragging the anchor point to the center of the text. The reason I like doing this is because if I want to rotate or scale my text layer, it'll rotate or scale from the center instead of a random point. Say I want to change my text to something else, but now my beautiful text box is all screwed up. And that's where this responsive design tab comes in. Let's undo that change, then select the text box and pin it to our text layer by clicking the center of this grid to pin all sides. And now our text box will resize automatically when we add new or longer text. Now basically, everything from here down you're used to seeing in other programs, but Align and Transform is where you'll not only align your text to your composition, but also toggle animation for your text layers. If I click Toggle Scale on the right, you'll see a keyframe appear on the left. And if I go a few frames over and set another scale value, my text is now animating from within the Essential Graphics panel itself. What's nice about this is I can still move or scale the entire layer within the composition and it won't affect the animation I've done on my text layer. If you want your entire design to animate as a whole instead of individual layers, you can select the layers you want and create a group, which will allow you to animate the entire thing all together. I'm going to have this graphic animate in from the left and exit on the right over the course of one second. Wow, absolutely brilliant stuff here. I'm so in love with this graphic, I actually want it to last two seconds. But if I pull my layer out on my timeline, the keyframes don't come with it. And depending on the complexity of your animation, this can be super annoying to deal with. Unless you are smart like me and create protected regions for your animation by clicking and dragging this little blue box over your animation on both sides, which will protect those regions, allowing you to stretch out the time in between for as long or as short as you want. I feel like this is a super handy little trick that not too many people use, but you should absolutely use it because it saves a lot of time in the long run. Below that, the text and appearance panels will let you change everything about the appearance of your text. Change the font, add strokes, shadows and backgrounds, and when you're done, you can save your masterpiece as a textile for you to call up later if you'd like to. Definitely play around with all this stuff to get more familiar and make new styles, but if you're feeling a bit stuck, try navigating to the Browse tab and choose Adobe Stock, where you will find a lot of free and paid templates to choose from, which saves a lot of time if you're suffering from a creative block. Once you find one you like, just drag and drop it onto your timeline, and after it loads, you can change the parameters of that graphic under the Edit tab, just like you did before. Additionally, if you or someone you know has some After Effects experience, you can make custom motion graphics templates inside of After Effects and use them inside of Premiere in the Essential Graphics panel. Open After Effects, then make and animate your design. Don't forget to add your secret protected regions by setting Timelight in and Out Points, right-clicking, then choosing Create Protected Region. Next, open the Essential Graphics panel in After Effects, click Solo Properties, and drag and drop the elements into the Essential Graphics window that you want to be able to change inside of Adobe Premiere later. 
In the most recent updates, Adobe has also added the ability to change out media within the motion graphics template. So if you have an image, you can also drag it into the window. Once you're done, set your poster frame for the thumbnail and choose export. You can export to a local file on your computer, but since you're smart, you're gonna export to an Adobe Creative Cloud library instead, allowing you to call up that preset in all Adobe programs that support that functionality, like Premiere. Now you have all the tools you need to make a Snyder-esque chapter marker for your four hour mega cut. And if you learned something in this video, you may like my other tutorials right here on Adobe's channel.